Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with a Lenovo T460S. I'll show you how to get inside and access your speakers. So before we get going, remember, I do try to answer all comments and questions at least twice a day. But if you wanna save time waiting for an answer, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated. Also, I have a related link section below in the description, may be able to help you out with some other things involving your computer use. So to start the project, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over and access our bottom case screws. Okay, so I have these three screws up top, these two screws here, and that's your keyboard screw. That's a switch that releases your keyboard if that's all you're after. So I'm gonna go across and take all these screws out. Okay, so all my screws are unscrewed. However, they do have washers inside of them that hold them in place, so you're not gonna get them completely out. And I set my keyboard screw to open. And now the bottom case is, is released. So I'm gonna take my small flat head pry tool, go across the seam, and pop this bottom case off. Now this has been taken off once before, so you may have a harder time than that but it does come off fairly easily. There's, no, uh, there's nothing attached to the bottom case, it's, it's just the panel. After removing your bottom case, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, I have it sitting on this anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any of these replacement or upgrade parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, and I will have a list of all the tools and supplies, again, as well as the replacement and upgrade parts for this model in that one list. Now before doing anything in a computer, I always either remove or at least unplug the battery. It makes it safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through the computer. In this computer, we have two batteries. The main computer battery screws in there and there, plugs into the motherboard right here underneath this tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out those screws. And then it's held down underneath these two clips right there. So I'm gonna pop this up out of that port and then slide it out from under those two clips and there's your battery. This battery is very similar. It's held in by these two clips there, these two screws here, and it plugs into the motherboard there, similar to that one. So I'll go ahead and I'll take these screws out and then I'll lift it up from this plug and slide it out from those clips. So here are your speakers. You got this speaker here, three screws in it. This speaker here, also three screws. The speakers connect together with these blue and white wires that go down here along this end, and then they plug into the motherboard right here. So as you can see on your plug, there's a grip on either side of that plug. Don't pull on the wires, but use your fingernails or a pry tool to pull that out of that port if you're replacing your speakers. Also make sure that if you are replacing your speakers, make sure you take a picture, uh, make sure you know how this wire runs through here exactly, because when you put down your new speaker wires, if it's not in there exactly, you could pinch them when you put your bottom case back on, and then you could damage your speaker wires. So make sure they run exactly like that through there. I'll try to have some speaker replacements below in the description in that link I told you about with all the replacement parts. And I guess the last thing to shout out about a speaker repair, if you are having sound issues, if it's working sometimes and not other times, if the sound volume's low, it may not be that your speakers have to be replaced, it could be something else, a software issue, a driver issue. If it sounds awful like a blown speaker all the time, then yes, it is your speakers, you need to replace it. But if you think it may be something else and you want to troubleshoot that before opening your computer and doing a replacement, I'll have a video link above. Also below in the description, it'll be a tutorial showing you how to update all your drivers and your software, make sure all that is current and accurate with what you have in your computer so you can rule that out before attempting a replacement like this. So that's the procedure. Uh, please remember to like and share if it was helpful, if you think it could be helpful for someone else. 
Feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY computer content or if you just want me on hand to answer your computer related questions. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.